Today we'll be going through Cambridge International AS and A level Mathematics Paper 2 Pure Mathematics 2 9709 Paper 23 May June 2020. Question number 1 Given that y, 2 raised to the power y is equal to 9 raised to the power 3x, use logarithms to show that y is equal to kx and find the value of k correct to three significant figures so we can our question is this one and we can take log on both sides so we can write log of 2 raised to the y is equal to log of 9 raised to the power 3x now power can be written first so we'll pull power first so it will be log 2 is equal to log of uh, this will be 3x log of 9 now we can make y as subject so y will be equal to 3x uh, log of 9 over log of 2 and we can reshape it in this format x we can write outside so it will be 3 log of 9 over this will be log of 2 is equal to log of 2 and this one we can put in brackets and this will be x this is now in the form of y is equal to k x and k value is uh, k value is equal to 3 log of 9 over log of 2 this is our k value which we can calculate and this will be 3 log of uh, 9 over log of 2 and this will be resulting to 9.5 9 9.509 so we can approximately round it as to 9.51 this will be our rounded answer question number two find the exact coordinates of the stationary point stationary points on the curve of the equation y is equal to this so we can write this equation y is equal to this is basically u into v format so e product uh, of derivative we will be applying so dy by dx is equal to in form of u and v we know uh, dy over dx is equal to u and v derivative plus v into derivative of u this formula we will be applying for this one product formula so we can write dy over dx is equal to or u is this one so u as it is 5x and derivative of this will be 1 by 2 into e raised to the power 1 by 2x and this will be plus derivative of this one which will be 5 and this one as it is so it will be e raised to 1 by 2x then what we can do we can uh, open uh, basically we can open this bracket so uh, this will be instead of opening bracket what we can do we can take common this is common like 5 is common and e raised to 1 by 2 x is also common so inside the remaining will be 1 by 2 and x will be remaining and plus 1 over here will be remaining so now for stationary point we know for a stationary point stationary point what we can do we can uh, we are putting dy over dx is equal to 0 and our derivative is this one so we will write here 5 e raised to 1 by 2 x into 1 over 2 x plus 1 and this is equal to 0 and we know that this portion is positive portion so e raised to something cannot be 0 and 5 cannot be 0 so we can write 5 e raised to 1 by 2 x this is not equal to 0 so it means this is equal to 0 so 1 by 2 x plus 1 will be equal to 0 and we can shift it to like 1 by 2 x is equal to minus 1 
So x will be equal to minus 2. So this will be our x value. And now we can find y value because we have to find the coordinates, exact coordinates. So minus 2, uh, this value we will replace in the given equation. So our equation y is equal to 5 into x value will be minus 2 and e raised to the power 1 over 2 into x which is minus 2. So this will be cancelled and this will be minus 1. So it will be minus 10 minus 10 e raised to a minus 1 which we can write y is equal to uh, minus 10 over e and this will be our y value this is our y coordinate so point we can write point will be minus 2x value and minus 10 over e will be y value this will be our coordinate like of the points which we need to find question number three the equation of a curve is given by this one find the gradient of the curve at the point this point is provided now we can take a derivative of this one and we can write here taking derivative so of this given equation this will be minus 3 because we have to find the gradient so gradient will be derivative so minus 3 sine of 3x and this will be we are taking derivative with respect to x we can write here with respect to x so we'll be taking derivative with respect to x so this will be this one plus uh, 5 sine sine of cos uh, uh, sine of uh, uh, derivative of sine x will be cos x so we'll write here cos uh, cos of y and dy over dx because we are taking derivative with respect to x will be equal to constant derivative will be zero now we can make dy by dx as subject so we'll shift this to other side so 5 cos y dy over dx is equal to 3 sine 3x three and we can shift this 5 cos y also to other side so this implies dy over dx is equal to 3 sine 3x three divided by 5 cos of y and now we can replace uh, values for dy over dx at this point point given is this one so we can write pi by 9 and pi by 6 these are the x and y values so this will be equal to 3 sine of 3 and x value is pi by 6 so uh, pi by 9 sorry so this will be pi by 9 we can write here pi over 9 and cos will be 5 cos of y value y value is pi by 6 so we can write here pi over 6 now this is done now we'll use calculator to find this value in uh, we'll be using calculator in radian mode so fraction of uh, 3 sine of uh, in bracket sine of fraction this will be 3 pi 3 pi over 9 and we can write here 5 cos of pi over 6 so pi divided by 6 this will be uh, resulting to 3 by 5 so this answer is 3 by 5 this is our final answer for this part question number 4 diagram is provided this is uh, log x this side is log x this side is like log y the variables x and y satisfy the equation this is the equation which is they are satisfying where a and p are constants the graph of log y against log x is a state line passing through the points these and these as shown in the diagram find the value of a and p the equation provided is this one which we will utilize y is equal to a x raised to minus 2p and now uh, we can take log on both sides so log of 
y is equal to log of ax raised by my, uh, 2p minus 2p and now we can take uh, like multiplication so this will be log of a plus log of uh, log of x raised to the power minus 2p and this one we can write, write log of y is equal to uh, log of a log of a and this we can write first so minus 2p log of x and now we can rearrange it log of y is equal to minus 2p log x and plus log of a and this is basically the format which is y is equal to mx plus c format so this is the format which we can write y is equal to mx plus c format and this we can find the gradient so gradient of this line will be matching with the gradient of this which is minus 2p so we can find the gradient from the line we will be utilizing these points this one and this one coordinates of this m is equal to y2 minus y1 y2 will be uh, y2 we can take this one y2 minus y1 so 3 Point zero two minus minus one point five three y two minus y one over x two minus x one so minus zero point six eight minus one point zero seven so this will be um, we can calculate this this gradient by the help of calculator so this will be three point zero two minus into minus 1.53 and divided by minus 0 0.68 and minus 1.07 and this will be resulting to minus 2.6 so minus 2.6 is the gradient now uh, we have this gradient and now we uh, we can find the value of c also because we need the value of a so this is c so we can if we find value of c and we can equate log a is equal to that c value how we can find c value we will take any of these two given points any of these two given points and this uh, value of uh, gradient and we will write in, in a form of y is equal to mx plus c in this equation we will replace the values and we'll get value of c and gradient is minus 2.6 x value we can take as this one 1.07 i'm taking this point so uh, we can write here 1.07 plus c and y value is minus 1.53 so minus 1.53 we can equate and we can find c value so this will be minus 1.53 divided by this one uh, not divided by basically this will be i will rewrite this this will be shifted to other side so minus 1.53 and plus 2.6 into 1.07 this will be equal to c value and we can simplify this so this will be minus 1.53 and plus 2.6 into 1.07 and this will be resulting to uh, 1.252 so c value is 1.252 now after finding the c value we can equate c value basically this one this is our p value and this is our c value so p value we, we will equate to this one so 2p this is given 2p minus 2p basically minus 2p is equal to minus 2.6 so minus will be cancelled so p will be equal to 2.6 which is equal to 2.6 divided by 2 and which is equal to 1.3 now p value we got 1.3 similarly we can equate c value also to log a so we can write here this implies log a will be equal to 
1.1.252 and a will be equal to e raised to 1.252 and this one we can uh, check with the calculator e raised to the power will be and this will be shift this e raised to the power 1.252 and this will be resulting to 3.4 3.497 approximately equal to 3.50 so this will be our value for a and this will be our value for p hopefully you understood everything now question number five sketch on the same diagram the graph of this one and this one so uh, graph of this mod function we can draw this will be we can take x-axis like this one rough sketch basically is required so we will not be making accurate drawing so this one we can draw this will be x-axis and this one we can take as y-axis now uh, we can uh, check from here this will be uh, if x is equal to 0 if we replace x is equal to 0 y will be equal to minus 3 so say this is minus 3 point and this will be if y x is equal to 0 y will be minus 3 if y is equal to 0 so we can write here basically y is equal to 0 and if x is equal to 0 this will be y will be equal to minus 3 and point will be 0 and minus 3 so 0 and minus 3 we got this point which is this one and the second point if y is equal to 0 so we'll get 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 so 2x is equal to 3 so x is equal to 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 will be say this is the point 3 by 2 so we can draw this line like for example say this is point 3 by 2 now we have to shift this to positive side and for that one we can uh, we can consider this side like we will take the negative value of this one we have a mod function we know we are shifting this negative graph to the positive side and when we will reflect this one to this side so it will be uh, instead of minus 3 it will be passing through plus 3 and this is plus 3 point and we can draw this reflected uh, like this one and this one we can make it dotted line broken line so that we can show that this is we can show this one with dotted line this one and that will be the solid line which we have drawn now this is our uh, uh, graph for this mod function now we can draw this y is equal to 3x plus 5 so it's passing through 5 5 can be taken as this one say this is uh, like uh, 0.5 and it is passing uh, gradient is 3 so uh, it will be equal to if we replace y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so it will be 0 is equal to 3x plus 5 so x is equal to minus 5 by 3 and if we draw line like show like this one over here so this point we can show as minus 5 over 3 hopefully you are understanding everything now this is our uh, point of intersection for these two Mm, this is our line equation of line which we can write y is equal to 3x plus 5 and this is basically the curve which is uh, this one mod function y is equal to modulus of uh, 2x minus 3 this one so this and this is for this one so this is a two mark question which we have already done now solve the inequality in this one so inequality we have to solve and we can take reference from part one basically this will be uh, less than so this value is less than this one so less than values will be this area 
so we can figure out this area will be less than now we'll be solving and then we'll be checking the values so to solve this one we can write 3x plus 5 is equal to negative value we can take negative value of uh, uh, 2x minus 3 and then we can uh, solve it we can shift we can open the brackets first so minus 2x plus 3 and this will be 3x plus 5 we can shift 2x to the side and 5 to the side so 3x plus 2x is equal to 3 minus 5 which is equal to minus 2 and this side will be 5x 5x is equal to minus 2 so x is equal to minus 2 over 5 hopefully you understood this then now we can figure out this is x value is minus 2 by 5 which will be in this area in this region so minus 2 by uh, 5 will be basically the point of intersection what we have done this is the point of intersection if you check this 3x plus 5 is equal to this value and this is the point which we have identified and lesser than this value will be over here so our answer will be x is less than minus 2 over 5 so x value will be less than minus this one so if we check this value if you want we can check this value so this value will be we can show over here this will be minus 2 over 5 value for x and if we take positive value then that will be on this side which we can't take so from here we can identify our value is negative hopefully you understood this we are done with this part as well which is three marks question and question number six the polynomial p of x is defined and this is a polynomial given where a is a constant a is constant it it is given that uh, x plus three is factor of this find the value of a so we know because this is factor so p of is a plus three so we'll take p of minus three is equal to zero and we will replace here so this will be 6 into minus 3 cube x value will be replacing by minus 3 and plus a into minus 3 squared minus 4 into minus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can simplify this will be 6 into 6 into minus 3 whole cubed and this will be equal to minus 162 and minus this will be this will be plus because this is square plus 9a and this will be plus 12 and this one will be minus 3 is equal to 0 now we can write 9a is equal to 162 minus 12 plus 3 which is equal to we can simplify this 162 minus 12 and plus 3 and this is resulting to 153 this is equal to 153 now a value will be equal to 153 over 9 and this is 153 divided by 9 will be equal to 17 so our answer will be 17 this will be final answer for this part now b part using this value of a factorize this so uh, p of x we know is this one so in this a we will be replacing you know our modified p of x will be equal to 6x cubed plus 17x squared minus 4x minus 3 and we know that x plus 3 is a factor x plus 3 is a factor so now we can divide x plus 3 and it's divided by this one so this will be divided by x plus 3 6x cubed plus 17x squared minus 4x minus 3 and now we can first divide it by 6x squared and this will be 6x cubed and this into this will be plus 18x squared and now we can subtract hopefully you are getting everything it's easier and this will be cancelled and this will be minus x squared minus 4x we can pull down 
and minus 3 also and this will be multiplied by minus 1 uh, basically not minus so minus x so this will be multiplied so minus x squared and minus 3x and this will be again subtracted so changing sign this will be minus x minus 3 then we will be multiplying by minus 1 so it will be minus x minus 3 and changing sign all cancelled and this is basically our factor which we can further factorize so our um, p of x now will be equal to x plus 3 into 6 x squared minus x minus 1 and this one we, we can factorize mode 5 3 and this will be coefficient of x square is 6 and coefficient of x is minus 1 and constant is also minus 1 so this will be 1 by 2 and minus 1 by uh, uh, basically 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 so 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 these are the two pairs so we can write p of x is equal to x plus 3 and from here we can write 2x 2x and plus uh, 2x minus 1 we will be changing sign for this and then we will be taking so this will be 3x and plus 1 this will be our final answer for this question c part hence solve the equation p of cosecant theta is equal to 0 for this range we have to solve this now uh, we have this uh, answer which 6a part b part we have done we will utilize this and in the same format we will be writing this so we can write this in that format so this is p of cosecant theta in this one if we replace x by cosecant theta our equation will become uh, cosecant theta cosecant um, theta plus 3 and 3 cosecant theta plus 1 and 2 cosecant theta minus 1 is equal to 0. This is what we have written from here i'll show you i will fold page and show you so that you can see properly this is uh, p of x we have replaced x by cosecant theta so we'll get cosecant theta plus 3 then 2 x minus 1 basically this one i have written first so 3 cosecant theta plus 1 and then 2 cosecant theta minus 1 so we in this equation we have replaced x by cosecant theta and we got this and now we can separately equalize them to 0 so this will be cosecant theta uh, plus 3 is equal to 0 this will be 3 cosecant theta plus 1 is equal to 0 and 2 cosecant theta minus 1 is equal to 0 and this will be uh, from here we can write cosecant theta is equal to minus 3 so it means sine theta is equal to 1 over minus 1 over 3 we can write like this now this one we can write uh, 3 cosecant uh, theta is equal to minus 1 and sine uh, we can write cosecant theta is equal to minus 1 over 3 and sine theta is equal to um, basically this will be minus 3 and for this one we can write 2 cosecant theta is equal to 1 and cosecant theta is equal to 1 by 2 and sine theta will be inverse of this which is 2 these two values we know that theta, theta is varying from uh, 0 to 1 so 2 value and minus 3 value is uh, impossible so we'll write here no answer or impossible 
and this one also no answer and for this one we will check the value this one sine theta is equal to minus 1 over 3 and for this one we can write theta is equal to reference angle we will be taking that will be sine of 1 over 3 we will be taking angle and this is equal to um, we'll check for this sine inverse basically this will be sine inverse so inverse sine of 1 over 3 and this will be equal to um, basically degrees this is radian mode so shift mode and 3 and now again we can calculate this this will be equal to um, we have done something wrong uh, instead of sine theta we have taken uh, sine inverse we have taken sine theta so it will be again sine inverse of uh, um, 1 over 3 and this will be resulting to 19.47 so 19.47 degrees this will be the reference angle and we can check from the diagram simply we can draw like this one so to check this angle we know this will be 19.7 will be in this quadrant uh, sorry this is negative basically so negative angle will be in not in first quadrant it will be in this quadrant so it can be this angle or it can be this angle so this will be 19.47 uh, or this can be 19.47 so these two are the possibilities which we can consider for that so this angle will be we can take theta is equal to theta is equal to 180 180 this one up to 180 plus 19.7 so 180 plus 19.47 or we can take the other angle 360 minus 360 minus 19.47 so our theta will be we can add this so this will be 180 plus 19.47 and this will be equal to 199.47 199.47 approximately 199.5 degrees and we can check for the other also which is 360 minus 19.47 and this will give us 340.53 340.53 and this will be 340.5 degrees answer these are the angles which we will provide as answer question number seven it is given that integral of zero to a integration of this one is equal to 10 where a is where a is a positive constant show that this is equal to this a is equal to this now integral we will take integral zero to a in uh, four over 2x plus 1 so dx we can take separate for this one dx and plus integral of this also we can take 0 to a 8x dx and this is equal to 10 this is provided now we can uh, ch change the shape of this one 0 to a and this one we can write 2 over 2x plus 1 to make log formula and 2 uh, this 4 because this is 4 so 2 we have taken it out and this will be dx plus this will be if we integrate this one this will be 4x squared this will be basically 8x squared over 2 which will cancel and we'll get 4x squared and limits will take integral this one and is equal to 10. now this is formula this will be log so 2 of uh, log of 2x 
2x plus 1 and the values will be values will be taking from 0 to a 0 to a and this one also 4x square and these value limits are 0 to a is equal to 10. Now we can replace the upper limit first so it will be 2 and this one will be log of 2a plus 1 and if we replace the lower limit lower limit will be minus log of 0 plus 1 so log of 1 and this will be plus this will be 4a squared is equal to 10 so we can put bracket over here and next simplification we can open the bracket this will be equal to 0 so our equation will become 2 log of 2a plus 1 and plus 4a squared is equal to 10 and further we can uh, basically make 4a as uh, on one side and the rest of the log we can shift to the other side so we write 4a square is equal to 10 minus 2 log of 2a plus 1 and we can divide basically we can divide it by uh, 4 so divided by 4 divided by 4 and this one also we can divide by 4 now we can cancel this this will be a square is equal to uh, 10 by 4 will be 2.5 minus this will be 0 0.5 and log of 2a plus 1 and this is a value a square so we can take a value by taking root this will be plus minus root of 2.5 minus 0 0.5 log of 2a plus 1 this one and they are saying that a is a positive constant in the question they have provided so we'll be leaving the negative value so our a will be equal to this one 2.5 minus 0 0.5 log of 2a plus 1 this will be our final answer for this question this is also done B part using the equation in part A which we have just now done and that equation I will copy that equation is A is equal to root of 2.5 minus 0 0.5 log of uh, 2A plus 1 this one this is our equation which we have to utilize using this equation show that cal by calculation that a is in between 1 and 2 so what we can do we can take 1 and 2 values so if a is equal to 1 uh, what will be the answer it will be uh, 1 is equal to this side we can check this will be 2.5 minus 0 0.5 and log of uh, 2 plus 1 will be log of 3 so we can calculate this so if we will be taking this root of 2.5 minus 0 0.5 and log of uh, 3 and this will be resulting to 1.397 this and 1.39667 uh, so we know that this side is bigger so we can write equality like this now this is uh, uh, on the other side we can take a is equal to 2 if we check a is equal to 2 same process we will be doing so 2 and this will be the value 2.5 and minus 0 0.5 into log of this will be 2 into 2 will be 4 4 plus 1 will be 5 so it will be 5 and in the same equation we just change this one to 5 and this will be resulting to 1.30 so 2 is basically greater than 1.3020 so from here we we see that it's changing sign 
so we can write that sine change of a sine change of a um, yes, sine change of a uh, shows shows that the value is value of a is between 1 and 2. So this will be our final answer for this one. Then uh, use an iterative formula. Iterative formula uh, based on the equation in part A to find the value of A correct to four significant figures. Give the result of each iteration to six significant figures. So the same formula we will be using which is a is equal to root of 2.5 and minus 0 0.5 log of uh, 2a plus 1 and this will be for a 0 we can start with the 1.5 as it is between 1 and 2 so we will start with 1.5 and we can type the formula I will move the page a little above so this will be root of 2.5 minus 0 0.5 and log of uh, 2 and alpha x plus 1 and bracket close. Now we can calculate for 1.1.5 and this will give us 1 point we will write here. So a1 will be equal to 1.344 one nine and a2 we can check for this one so calculate for answer and this will be giving us 1.359 1 1.35919 and a3 we can check for calculate for answer and this will be equal to 1.3577 zero and calculate for answer will be a4 which is equal to 1.35784 this one or we can write it as 5 because this next digit is 9 then a5 we can write a5 so calculate for answer will be giving us 1.35784 and a6 also we can write a6 is equal to calculate for answer will be giving us 1.3578 and this will be 36 so it will be 4 again so we are getting basically repeated values three times so we can write answer as a is equal to 1.358 this is the up to four significant figures so this is our answer for this part question number eight show that three sine two theta cot theta is equal to six cos square theta so we can use formula and we know sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. So this will be the formula which we will be using and we can replace this one 3 and sine 2 theta will be 2 sine theta uh, 2 sine theta cos theta and cot theta will be uh, cos theta over sine theta so cos theta over sine theta and this one sine theta we can cancel with this and we will get 3 into 2 will be 6 cos square theta which is this side so we can write we can take this one as left hand side and this is equal to right hand side 
So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So this is done. Then uh, B part solve the equation. This equation uh, which is uh, equal to 5 for theta from 0 to pi. So the same thing what we have done in part A this side we can write as 6 cos square theta. So 6 cos square theta is equal to 5. So we can shift 6 to other side. So cos square theta is equal to 5 over 6. And cos theta we can write plus minus root of 5 over 6. Now uh, we can write this one. Reference angle we can write reference angle will be uh, theta is equal to cos inverse of under root under root 5 over 6 like this and we can calculate this so this will be cos inverse shift cos of uh, root of 5 over 6 and this will be equal to this will be equal to 24 point basically we have to take radian so shift mode and 4 and now we can again calculate this will be equal to 0 0.4205 and this will be radians now this is uh, the angle which we found in radians so from 0 to pi what we can do we can for understanding the angle we can draw a small drawing for that one so this will be the quadrants and uh, sine is uh, the, basically this is cos so cos is uh, from 0 to this one so we can take uh, this value uh, as positive like this quadrant and this quadrant this will be positive value so like this one so this will be positive this will be positive so this value we can take or this value we can take so this is how we will be taking theta as 0 point uh, theta will be equal to 0 0.4 to uh, 0 0.5 which we have taken this one or we can take pi minus so pi minus this one uh, 0 0.4205 and this one we can round it as 0 0.42 radians and this one we can uh, subtract this will be pi minus 0 0.4 205 and this will be resulting to 2.72 so we can write 2.72 this will also be radians this will be our final answer for this part a uh, 8 part b now part c uh, find the exact value of uh, this integral and we have to basically uh, we know this one 3 sine 3 sine 2 theta if we replace uh, this one x by we can write 3 sine 2 theta and cot theta cot theta is equal to 6 cos square theta this is what result we we have already done in part a this one we have already done this result this is part one which we have copied over here and we can uh, replace basically uh, theta by uh, theta by 2 if we replace in this equation theta is equal to theta over 2 and what we will get we will get 3 sine uh, so theta and cot theta by 2 because this will be cancelled so this will be 6 cos square theta by 
2. So we have replaced theta by theta by 2. Now this one we can write, this is this side, we can write this one. So integral of uh, pi by 4, pi by 4 to pi by 2. So pi by 2 will be equal to, uh, will be taking integral of this side cos square theta over 2 and dx. Now uh, we can, uh, we know this one um, basically cos 2x is equal to uh, 2 cos square x minus 1 and from here we can uh, make uh, cos x basically as subject so uh, we can uh, we can replace basically x by put x is equal to x over 2 so we will replace here so it will be cos of uh, 2 into x over 2 is equal to 2 cos square of x over 2 and minus 1. So this will be cancelled. So this will be cos of x is equal to cos of x is equal to 2 cos square x over 2 minus 1. And from here uh, we can shift minus 1 to this side. So 2 cos square x by 2 is uh, equal to cos x cos x plus 1 and this too we can shift to other side and this will be cos square x by 2 is equal to cos x plus 1 over 2 and this result we will be using we will be using this result this result we will be using in this one and cos square theta by 2 will be equal to cos theta plus 1 over 2. So our modified integral will become pi by 4 to pi by 2 and this will be 6 we can write outside and this will be cos x mean cos theta plus 1 over 2 dx this will be in brackets and our modified integral will be this one. Now we can integrate this and for that one we will shift this 2, we can cancel this 2 with this 3. So next step we can write it as 3 integral pi by 4 to pi by 6 and this will be cos theta cos uh, cos x basically we are having x over here so i'm writing theta we can write x over here basically so this one so this will be cos x and this will be plus one and uh, this will be dx we can write here dx and now we can integrate and separate integral we can separate in one attempt like this one cos x dx and uh, otherwise we can keep as it is directly we can directly we'll take it that uh, integral and this will be 3 sine of uh, x plus x and this will be pi by 4 and this will be pi by 6. Now we'll be replacing upper limit first and this will be 3 and upper limit will be this pi by 6 uh, so this basically this is uh, not pi by 6 this is pi by 2 so this will be pi by 2 so uh, pi by 2 will be uh, sine of uh, this will be 1 sine of pi by 2 will be 1 and so this will be 1 plus pi by 2 x value will be replaced by pi by 2 and when we replace pi by 4 so this will be minus sine pi by 4 will be under root 2 over 2 so we can replace basically under root 2 over 2 
and plus this will be pi by 4 and now we can put brackets over here and this one we can simplify if we open this this will be 3 and in brackets it will be 1 and plus pi by 2 and uh, this one we can write first so minus under root 2 over 2 and pi by 2 plus 1 by 4 uh, pi will be equal to uh, 1 over so it will be 1 by 4 pi if we use calculator to solve this and the final answer if we multiply this will be 3 and this will be minus 3 under root 2 over 2 and plus 3 over 4 pi this will be our final answer so as a final step we can write we can rearrange this will be 3 by 4 pi and this one we can write uh, basically plus 3 first and minus 3 over under root 2 this one we can write as final answer hopefully you understood each and everything we are done with the paper i'll be waiting for your comments also subscribe maths tv also press bell icon so that you will be getting notification for the new videos recommend this channel to your friends and class fellows also introduce this channel to your respected teachers thank you very much for watching take care bye